Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new stamp and die set, Snow Cool, and I love this set because it has an awesome background builder and these adorable penguins. So let's go ahead and check it out. First we have the background builder. I love this snowfall and you can keep stamping it all the way across your card to fill up the whole thing. And then we have the little dots separately so that you can fill in any extra spots where you want a little bit more snow. And we even have a tiny little snowflake too. Then here we have this adorable penguin. We have a snow penguin and his little friend there and they're building the snow penguin together. We have this adorable little igloo and then some accessories. We have a top hat, a snow cone, of course. We have a little fish that they can give to each other and then we also have a little bow tie too. Then this set has awesome mix and match sentiments. So we have let it snow, your snow cool, there's snow place like home, and then you can also add for the holidays at the end of that. And then we have their snow one like you. We also have your cool and stay cool. And so you can mix and match all of these. And of course we have our exclamation point to add to the ends of the phrases. Now I'm gonna use my Copic colors to color in these images. And I'm coloring them based off of a card by Elena that was so gorgeous. And what I loved was that she made the penguins more of a light gray. I have a tendency to make them really dark gray and I really like this look. So as you can see here, I'm adding the darkness around their faces and then blending it out into light. And it really gives them a nice dynamic look. That light gray right in the middle makes them look kind of 3D, which I really love. Next up, I'm gonna color in the top hat with those same grays so that everything coordinates really, really well. And then we'll add some color to their beak and their feet too. Next up, I'm gonna be using BG10, which is one of my favorite markers to add some color to the earmuffs and the hat and the top hat. And I'm gonna blend those out with the colorless blender and with BG70. Then I'm just going to use the BG10 marker to go around the igloo and the snowman. And I love doing this for snowmen because it really makes them pop. The white looks really bright and it adds a little dynamic to them instead of just leaving them plain white. Next up, I'm going to add some rosy cheeks to all my penguins there and then add some little color to his carrot nose. Here we have the coordinating dies, which you can bend apart at the tabs or cut with your wire snips. I'm gonna line up my dies, hold them in place with post-it note tape, run them through my die cut machine, and I have all of these awesome, cute little images. And I love that you can use the accessories for the snow penguin, or you can use them on the penguins too. So you could put the hat on the penguins, or you can put the bow tie on the penguin, or maybe as a little hair bow for one of the penguins too. So it's it's just really really fun to mix and match all of these elements so let's go ahead now and make a card with it here I have my largest dotted stackable rectangle and I'm cutting a bunch of rectangles out of white cardstock and then I'm going to be using my simple stitch till side and original stitch till sides to create this fun snowy scene so the first one there I've got my simple stitch till side I'm gonna add some of, some of my penguins onto the card to help me decide where the next little stitch till side should go and by cutting the hillsides from the dotted rectangle they're going to have the stitching on the top and then the dots on the side which i think is a really cool look so here you can see again i'm kind of putting it over the card and deciding where my hill is going to go what i think is going to look kind of cool and then I will line those up and keep cutting. And this is a card that I am recreating that is by Elena. Like I talked about earlier, this card was so gorgeous and I asked her if I could redo it and she said I could for the video. So thank you so much, Elena. Now here you can see I'm lining up all of these hills and I've got all of the dotted stackables. And here I have some narwhal cardstock with the stitched mountain borders. And I've cut that once again also from the dotted rectangle and then the stitched mountain border on the top. I'm using that same BG10 that I used for the snow penguin to color the tops of the mountain hills. I just love those little snow tops and adding that blue on them just gives them a really cool frosty look. So I'm gonna line those all up on my mountains and repeat the same idea with that same BG10 marker we've been using this whole time along the edges of these stitched hills. And once again, it's just gonna give it a nice special look. Here I've cut a dotted rectangle again from some mermaid cardstock and I'm stamping with Yeti ink, some white pigment ink, in with this cool background builder. And I just love how the snow is falling down the card. Now I can start lining up all of my elements. So I've got my mountains and my hills and I'm gonna use varying degrees of foam tape so that the hills kind of build up towards the bottom. 
So I'm going to line all of those up and you can see how that dotted edge is on every single element, really giving it a nice finished look. And then some double foam tape on this bottom hill to really give it a nice kind of three-dimensional look. I colored a few more penguins in the same way and also added that pile of snowballs from Toboggan Together because I thought it was just kind of an extra fun little element. And now I'm going to add all of these penguins. I'm putting foam tape on the top of the penguins and then tape runner on the bottom so that they look like they're popping off of the scene. Then I'm going to layer in my igloo and my little pile of snowballs. And then I'll have the two penguins making their snow penguin, which I think is just so cute. I can't get over how adorable that is. And then once again here, add my last penguin with the foam tape on top and the tape runner on the bottom to give it this really cool three-dimensional look. I've cut a sentiment banner from some mermaid cardstock also. I'm going to stamp a sentiment in Versamark ink, add some white heat embossing powder that's going to stick to that nice sticky Versamark ink, and then I can heat it up with my heat tool and get this nice bright white sentiment that's going to go perfectly with my card. I'm going to add that sentiment on with some tape runner. I'm going to create a card base, which is going to be standard size, five and a half by four and a quarter. I'll layer my whole panel on top, and now my card is done. And it's so beautiful. I love the gray and aqua theme, and it's just a happy, fun card that I just love. Next up, I am going to make a slider card. So I've colored some more penguins and a little snow penguin there. I'm going to cut a dotted rectangle here from some white cardstock. And next up, I'm going to be using the simple stitch tail side that lines up with that slide on over die there. So I'm going to line up all of my pieces onto my card. And first, I'm going to cut my snowy hill. So I'll run that through my die cut machine. And now I've got a nice dotted edge with a stitch tail on top and I can work on stamping my sentiment. And my favorite sentiment from this set is there's snow one like you. So first I'm gonna stamp the there's and one like you in red, and then I'm gonna stamp the snow in peacock. And I think that's a really cool look. I love being able to color one part of the sentiment. Now I use that same dotted rectangle and cut some peacock cardstock. And I'm going to white heat emboss this awesome snowy backdrop. So I'll add my powder and then heat it up, and I love that bold look of the falling snow on there. Now I didn't want my card to be that tall. So what I'm gonna do is actually just trim off part of that peacock cardstock. And when I lay the hill on top, you still have the dotted edge all the way around, but now you have a custom sized rectangle. Now I'm gonna take my slide on over die. I'm gonna line it up right on top of that hill and then hold it in place with some low tack tape and run that through my die cut machine. And now I have my slider track that perfectly lines up with my hillside. I'm going to cut another piece of peacock cardstock that's going to be the base of my slider. And then I can start working on putting all of my pieces together. So I'm going to take some foam roll tape here and I'm going to double it up because I want that extra height so that my slider works really well. And then I'll start adding that tape to the base part of my slider mechanism. And I'm going to make sure to add the tape so that that penny can still move freely. So I'm going to trim down some nice thin pieces and put it all the way around that track without it actually touching the penny. So I'm also going to put some thin pieces just to fill in around the track to give it nice stability. But once again, that penny is going to be able to move without touching any foam. Now I'm going to trim down a doubled up piece to attach to my penny. So I'm going to put the penny behind the track and then attach that foam piece to the penny. Then I'm going to cut one more because this is going to be a double slider. So we're going to add a second penny and then add that foam tape to that penny. Next up is the trick for making sliders work really well, and that's taking your powder tool and going around all of the outside edges of your foam tape. The powder is going to remove any excess stickiness so that the only stickiness is at the top of that foam tape and not on the sides. Then I'm gonna run some of this powder actually in the track, and I find that it makes the penny move super fast in the track too. Now I can peel up that liner on the top, and I'm gonna add my snow there to the bottom just to give me a guide as to where I want my penguin to be on that snowy hill. And then I can take that penguin and adhere him to the penny. Now I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna put that penny right in the back, add my snowy hill so I know exactly where to place my penguin, and then I can attach her right onto that penny. The next step is to remove all of the liner tape on the back of this and take that peacock cardstock piece that we cut earlier and just adhere that to finish off the seam. And now we've got two penguins that can move in this slider track. Next up, I'm gonna add my hill there to the bottom. 
And then I'm going to take the piece that the die cut out and just run that and tape that into the bottom. I wanted to make sure that the little falling snow was still showing up in the bottom. And I should have done this earlier, but I forgot. But I'm just going to force it right in there. I added some tape to the bottom of it. And now it looks like the snowfall is continuing even into the slider track. Now I've added a ton of foam tape to the snow penguin. And the reason for that is I want this penguin to be a stopper for the slider. And if you add foam tape to him, they'll stop right at him instead of running over him. So you'll see there, they're gonna stop right against that snow penguin. I'm gonna give him his top hat, and then I'm gonna have her hold the little bow tie. And you're gonna see when it moves, she's adding the bow tie to the snow penguin. So they're making the snow penguin together, and I think it's just the cutest thing ever. It's just so sweet. Next up, I'm gonna take some perfectly plaid Christmas paper, and I've got one that's kind of a teal and a red, which is gonna go perfectly for my card. I'm gonna trim that piece down and also create a card base for this. I can add that beautiful plaid paper to my card base, and then I'll be able to add some tape to my shaker mechanism here and adhere the whole card together. And I love this idea of this double slider. It's kind of a new way to use your slider dies, and it's so cute because the penguins are decorating the snow penguin. I just can't get over it. It's just so sweet. And so you can tilt it back and forth like this, or you could also move them with your fingers too, which is kind of fun also. So this is Snow Cool. I love this set so much. You can create really cool scenes with them, fun sliders. I think pop-ups would be awesome with this set. And I love that it's got that snow background builder too. I'm using it on almost all of my cards. So I cannot wait to see what kind of cool things that you guys come up with for this set. Thank you so much for watching and have an absolutely amazing and cool day. Bye.